Welcome to our Meet the Experts casting directors panel. Today, we are joined by Jeannie Baccarat from The Bear and the Patient, Gail Keller from The Big Door Prize, Allison Estrin from Bupkis, Debbie Romano from Shrinking, and Theo Park from Ted Lasso. Thank you all for being here. Um, well, you often hear about casting directors remembering actors from previous auditions for projects that they don't get then, but how can actors make an impression on you guys so you remember them for parts that don't even exist yet? Um, Gail, let's start with you. Um, you know, it's a, it's a weird thing. I, I don't, uh, people talk about your gut. Like, you know, you just like see an actor's work and there's something in your gut that just goes, my, my, the question that comes to my head when somebody really impresses me is like, who are you? <laughs> you know, like I get so fascinated by them that I just want to know more about them. So even if they might not get a role in whatever I'm doing, that's the impetus for me to go, I got to remember this person. And then I actually try and follow their career a little bit. Like, you know, if I know that they're going to be in a play or if there's a show I see and they're in it, you know, like I might just do my own, um, you know, watching so that I can know them better um or see them in a talk show you know or whatever you know talking a, a late night show and um yeah it's just this like instinct kind of gut instinct I think for me mm -hmm. yeah for sure um Theo what about you um yeah there, there, there isn't really a formula is there for um <laughs> how and why you might remember someone I mean I do I try and my memory is pretty bad actually I have to say so I've got folders and I I just uh, print out photos and I've just got folders here in theatre I went to see but you know I, I have to say I, I do remember you know like you know in, the, in that back room of Edinburgh Festival 2012 and you saw that weird trio <laughs> and you remember the one on the right you know and like Gail said you know you just sort of follow the, their career and hope that there will be something that you can bring them in for. And there often is, and it's exciting, isn't it? When you can get someone yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, like Debbie, for you, like you, like Ted McGinley, basically, right? <laughs> uh, that was very rewarding. And I'm, I just hope it does, this show does great things for him. I, I really think it could. And I, so many people have said to Brett and I, oh my God, it's great to see Ted McGinley again and he's slaying. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, what about you? What what can other um, actors do to, to make an impression on you um, for future projects? I mean, again, I think it, it really is just the gut. And, you know, I think that just seeing someone come in and nail an audition and, uh, you know, just be themselves. Uh, I love when actors aren't afraid to ask questions before an audition, just to inform themselves of whatever is missing that, you know, they want to know more about. Uh, just, I, I think doing the homework is something that really makes an impression on me. And I, we're always rooting for the actor. So you just want to see them do well. And if it's not the role that they're brought in for, then hopefully there'll be something else down the line. Um, Jeannie, what about you? Yeah, I would say, um, uh, to me, like sense of humor is such a, a specific thing to a person. And um, so seeing like when people bring humor into a piece, like I, that's so personal. Um, and uh, and I think there's thought that's required in that of like where, where you know, where does this character um, find um find what, what what do they find funny what what what's ironic what's self-deprecating what's um to me like intelligence too just you know uh, to see the thought that people have put into their work um is fascinating to me I just I think sort of what um Gail was saying too like I just go like I want to know more like even if it's even if like they're so off the mark but they clearly have like thought this out and it's gone somewhere. I'm like, what the heck was that? And I wanna, I wanna explore that brain. Yeah, bold choices are fun to watch. 
Um, Allison, how about you? Yeah, I would. I going off of what everyone has said here, very perfectly already. Um, I, it, it is exactly that, and, and the gut as well, um, and, and kind of that experience of working with a person um, that sometimes you can tell. I, you know, I think we all work with very different types of directors and showrunners, and so maybe someone isn't exactly the right fit for one type of director, but you can tell that like someone's style is going to be so right on for another. And that is really exciting when, when that director calls and says, oh, I have a project. It's like, oh, good. I, I have an actor that, that I, I think you're just really going to like. And, and then, you know, cause we all just really, our job is being yentas in a certain way and, you know, setting people up. And it, that's just such a fun thing when everyone gets to kind of fall in love that way. Um, how does it feel to cast someone in their first job or their first big job where you feel like this could really change things for them especially if they're just kind of you know like a, a journeyman actor or or you know like gail you know you, sammy was from tiktok <laughs> and it's like it's, it's like this is their first role like um and, and can you think of an example from your career where you know you, you did that for someone i think we probably all have but uh, I mean, it's it's the best. I mean, it's the best, and it makes all the other stuff that's so hard about what we do. It feels like it's getting harder every day. Um, it makes it all worth it. Like it is, it is truly the best. I just had an experience on another project where the manager and the director actually, I mean, manager and the agent, uh, let me be on the Zoom call when they told the actor. Oh, that they got oh, the role oh, first, oh, first, oh, you know? so nice. I, and I was I mean I literally have chills just thinking about it but I was like I, I'd never gotten to do you know I've gotten to like do the call after they've gotten the call but um that was I mean I just started weeping I think I wept more than the actress but um <laughs> but it does it, it just makes all the rest of it I mean it is truly at least I can speak for me and I'm sure for all of you it's it is the highlight of what we do. I mean, it's so exciting to give somebody work. It means it's their livelihood. It's they get to, you know, pay off their mortgage. They get to pay their insurance, you know, like what a great feeling that that is, even though, you know, it's just for that project. It just, it, it, I always have, yeah, the joy of that. Like, I just love being able to give actors a job, you know? Yeah. The affirmation of, you know, you chose this career, you knew it was going to be hard and score is so great. Yeah. And even in the small roles, like even just, you know, it doesn't even have to be the huge roles. It's just, you know, that, as you say, giving the person that affirmation and like, you got this, you got this, you're on your way. Yeah. 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 Giving someone their sad card is, it's an exciting thing. You know, that that just right there is, is changing changing their life. And also like uh, going back to what you said too about uh you know or people who who the journeyman like longevity in this business and to be able to like you know give someone that as well like that like like you you've hung in and you know and now it's like you know paid off again either in a huge way or just like just another job like 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 just to stay in this business is Right. Like I, I think about Jennifer Coolidge. I mean, how long has Jennifer Coolidge been around? Right. Our, our, um, um, I don't remember her name, Theo, but the woman that plays the owner of the team, like, hasn't she like been around and Anna. yeah, Anna Singham, yeah. Yeah. You know, and like how exciting for her at this stage in her, her career and how know? exciting for a woman in her 40s yes, yeah. to yes. Have, you know it's it's great isn't it well, yeah that was, the, that was the whole thing at the SAG Awards this year too it was like Michelle Yeoh and Brendan Fraser and Jamie Lee Curtis and and it was this it really was this very powerful powerful um ceremony where people talking about like just staying in 
you know, yeah. or that the young man from everything, not so young anymore, but you know, yeah. everything, everything <laughs> I mean, really yeah, that whole yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Jessica Chastain's people. speech too about um actors and just you know keep going at it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard. Yeah. yeah. But but it can happen at a later stage. So stick with it and believe in yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, well, lastly, um, is there a uh, a piece of of casting or someone's casting that that you've admired? Um, you know, uh, the present company, uh, notwithstanding, uh, where you're just like, wow, like that was such a well cast role or a well cast show or movie. Well, I'm currently watching Beef, and I think Ali Wong and Stephen Yun are just amazing in that show. I mean, Stephen Yun is is Bloody Perfect hearts. in everything. Yes, I know. <laughs> Perfect in everything. But Ali Wong's a sensate a, re a revelation because, you know, she haven't, haven't seen her do any acting, actually. Um, I don't know, maybe she had, but I, I've only seen her stand up. But I think, <laughs> I think she's terrific. I think they're both amazing. That's perfect casting, for sure. I've been watching Reservation Dogs. And I mean, I, I think what uh, all, of, all of the actors that, that they've been able to, to find and uh, I think that it, it's in incredible and and just giving an amazing amazing platform to incredible actors that we wouldn't have seen otherwise and uh, uh, I I think it, it's a great example of going into a community and and just yeah. for sure mm -hmm. that's like another great example of you know giving oh. people like a big break and yeah. like your first big mm -hmm. job so. so. Yeah. I'm I'm sort of um, am relishing uh, Poker Face because mm -hmm. to see Natasha Leone uh, play the female version of Peter Falk brings me nothing but joy. <laughs> Every episode of this throwback series of her with her, like it's just so perfect to me that 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 she's the um, she's doing that part. I I just um, love it. Oh. For me, it's Pachinko. Oh, I, I so incredible. Ex extraordinary. And, you know, talk about the power of acting when you, you're you not even understanding, you know, the language. And I just think that cast across the board is. Yeah, incredible. And like multi-generational and everything too. So, yeah. Agreed, agreed. I, I have to say, like, I, I, was blown away, Theo, by seeing, and I'm probably not going to say his name right, but Nonzo. Oh, Nonzo. <laughs> yes. I mean, I loved him on that CBS show that he was on, and here he was playing Sam's dad, and it was so perfect, and I haven't seen him in, I don't even know how many years. I mean, he was, he was on Zoo, right? Yes, yes, yes yeah. exactly, exactly, <laughs> which was a crazy show, but he was so standout in it, and mm -hmm. uh, Kudos to you. Oh, thank you. He's pure class. So lucky. So lucky we got him. He's great. Right. Right. Awesome. And can you well, talk about Mateo, please? Talk about yes, Mateo. Yes, let's close with Mateo. <laughs> talk about Mateo. I, I have to thank Suzanne Drone. If you ever need a local casting director in Amsterdam, she is your go-to. She was absolutely amazing. She helped us with those parts. And I sent her the biggest bunch of flowers when she because we didn't know who Matteo van der Klein was. And to be honest, it was between him and another, and they were both really different, both sensational actors, but both really different. And Jay and, and Jason and I talked about it, and he was like, you know, Theo, I think I'm gonna go with Matteo. I was like, okay, you know, because I was already gonna give up my whole life for Matteo. So yeah. <laughs> he says it's kind of like, you know, you choose, you go with Chris Martin from Coldplay or Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. I was like, Eddie Vedder all day long. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean- like, I hope he comes I, I, back, Now everyone's Leo. just jealous of Hannah Waddingham in that episode. I know. <laughs> Don't tell us, but I hope he comes back. My lips are sealed. Don't say, that's right. <laughs> no, no spoilers here. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was great seeing with all of you guys. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on all of your shows. Thank, Thank you, you. Joyce. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congrats to all of you.